Now, if Attorney General Bill Barr is concerned about plans that may include tracking and monitoring uh, the health of individual Americans, well, you should be too. Now, so it was a little surprising uh, to hear the president speak so favorably about the idea yesterday. Doesn't sound like a bad idea, actually, but I have not heard about that. You'd be okay with it if it I, I don't know if I'd be okay. I have to see it. But it sounds uh, very scientific, and it sounds like it could be good based on tracking. But it also has to do with rights and lots of different constitutional questions. Some people are concerned it would be like the post-9-11 Patriot Act that it ultimately led to the FISA abuse. Are there any, are yeah, you concerned FISA about that? FISA abuse of which I was the one abused. Yeah, the Patriot Act, FISA courts, other surveillance tools that were enacted apparently to protect us, but they've also been used to violate our rights. Joining me now is Victor Davis Hanson, senior fellow at the Hoover Institute. Um, Victor, is mass surveillance, uh, well, whatever this is, uh, should we be asking questions now and not later? Yeah, I think we should. It's a bad idea. We, it'll end up creating two two castes of citizens, those who test positive and have antibodies, and then they're free to do more things and the ones that don't. So we don't want to do that. What we're interested in is the number, not the individuals. We want to know how many cases, how many people have antibodies, because we've been working with an unknown denominator, a, a denominator that's false, and that has given all sorts of misinformation. Once we do uh, representative surveys and we find out who has antibodies and what the percentage of the population is that have had the virus. That's the key, not the individuals. And then we can really get an accurate idea of what the lethality rate, and that will lead to greater confidence and allow us to go back to a normalcy. But we don't want to have individuals stigmatize, I have the virus, I have immunity, I have antibodies, you don't. Each person can, they'll have their own ID or they'll have their own information that they were uh, exposed and now they're somewhat immune and they can deal with that as they want. We do not want the government, mm -hmm. especially in conjunction with Silicon Valley, from what we've known about data mining, Google, et cetera. We don't want them anywhere near this with the individual names in some data bank. It's a bad idea. Well, what's amazing, yeah, what's amazing, Victor, is that the ACLU, uh, it's supposed to be this, you know, big ad advocacy group for our civil rights or standing up for our rights. But... Here's what one of their attorneys said about COVID tracking. Whatever decisions or policies are implemented with respect to responding to this catastrophe have to be those that are demanded by public health officials and experts, as opposed to others in government, particularly people in security or law, enf law enforcement business. Now, wait a second. So, Victor, if I get this right, medical bureaucrats can, can give their imprimatur to, imprimatur to track you. That's good. But if law enforcement or the politicians accountable to the people come up with something that's bad <laughs> it's crazy I'm very, you know, I'm very wary of uh, people on the left in national crises because they're supposedly the purported protectors of civil liberties when you look at woodrow wilson and the suppression of the first amendment in world war ii or earl warren and fdr and the japanese internment or even abraham lincoln suspension of habeas corpus in places where he shouldn't have done it. Uh, it's not a good idea. And there, remember that the pressure on Donald Trump to enact the War Production Act and nationalize companies, he was resisting that. That came more from his opponents on the left. So I, I think it's a bad idea. We're, we, we didn't need it in 57, Laura. We didn't need it in 2009. We didn't need it in 2017. We didn't have a national bank to track everybody who had the flu and who didn't have the flu. And yet we had 61,000 people die just two, two three, three years ago yeah. so we've come yeah. through this without the idea, tampering yeah. Victor Victor it seems like and you've you've written about this we're almost out of time but we'll, we'll hit this again next week but you wrote and commented yeah. about California versus New York and it can't be just they shut down you know a few days earlier in California other stuff was going on there clearly there's more herd immunity than we would have thought uh, that virus yeah. was circulating in California for a lot longer. So that's also a fascinating point. We're going to have to hit yeah. that next week with you. Yeah. But uh, thank you for yeah, your commentary you. on our individual rights. Updates on John Durham, the investigation from Bill Barr, up next.